Hello friends, welcome to CSAP Space. Today in this video session, we will discuss about how to perform a role-based authentication in ESP.NET Core MVC. So let's start. We open our Visual Studio, and here we need to create role-based authentication in ESP.NET Core MVC. So we create a new project. And here uh, we choose a SPNet Core application. It's loading a pop up for selecting a web application. It's SP.NET Core web application. Then choose here as a role based auth. Then click on OK. Now in next pop up, we need to select a a template as a model view controller MVC. Now it's uh, creating a project for a role based authentication. Here we choose a web application and there is no authentications. Then click on OK button. Now it's uh, creating a project for a ASP.NET Core MVC. Now uh, project has been created. So uh, we go to our solution explorer here all the related files uh, has been added this is the controller default controllers this for views and this for default error view model so first of all uh, we need to add a controller so for the demonstration here uh, I have to add uh, it's account controller.cs where a user can enter their credentials like, uh, like a user ID and password so I need to add here one more new items for adding a controller here I have choose a MVC controller class and then uh, rename it as a account account controller dot cs then click on add now it's uh, adding a controller for account where uh, I will create a view page for login uh, where user can enter their user ID and password. So now account controller uh, has been added and here uh, I need to create a one more view like uh, it's a login. login and one more this method for HTTP get means this for uh, display a login view and this for HTTP post now in next step uh, I need to add a view for this uh, account controller so I will create a one more folder uh, name as a account same name as a controller name here I add one more view it's MVC view then rename it as a login because I already add a action result method for login view now uh, it's adding a view for this uh, login exit method. Here we create a HTML for uh, entering the user ID and passwords for authentication purpose. I have already created a HTML for this, so simply copy and paste it. This text box for yeah, fill their username and this for their password and this for their submit uh, here I have created a forms that the action method is login and method as a post so that posts the detail on this login post method so uh, we need to take uh, two parameters first one is username and second one is password so here I am taking two parameters this is 
यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड सो नाउ इन नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी नीड टू एड सम मोर पैरामीटर्स सम मोर नेम स्पेसिस microsoft dot sp net core dot authentication using microsoft dot sp net core dot authentication dot cookies and using microsoft dot sp net core dot mbc this mbc is already added so no need to add for this now we go to our push method and here we need to uh, write a code for authenticating the users for accessing the action methods so here i added a validations for this is yes. A string each string dot is null or empty first checking the username and a string dot is null or empty and here we checking a password now if this found a username and password is blank then this again return to login this here we direct to action now in next step uh, we need to provide their claims identity it's a claims identity we need to add their name species claims identity is uh, system using system dot security dot claims it's already uh, it's now uh, this name species has been added here now it's a uh, identity is equal to null and then in taking a flag here is a uh, like each authenticate by default is a uh, false if uh, for example for demonstration uh, here I'm hard coded a username and password uh, you can use your database you can fetch your uh, username and uh, username and password from database match with the database details so for demonstration here I'm using a hard coded so it's a username like uh, admin and password is equal to a then identity is equal to new claims identity new claims Claim. then it's a claim type dot name this as a username and then adding more, one more claim for their user name uh, user role it's a claim types dot role as a admin and 
now provide a cookie authentications defaults uh, set as a cookie authentication defaults as a authentication scheme then we we set this flag as a true because authentication is successful so now in second step I am creating one more user uh, like a demo and password is like a C same as a username and here we change their role as a user and in our remaining things are same as the same as admin now if authentication is true if this authenticate is true then where principal new claim principal identity where login HTTP context dot sign in sync cookie authentication defaults dot authentication scheme like a principal return if authentication is successful then return redirect to and we return to this as an index now next step uh, we go to our home controller where we decorate action methods according to their role uh, for example uh, here I am decorate this this uh, action method as a as a admin uh, and a user we provide uh, this uh, action result method for both admin and user let's authorize uh, we need to add a namespace for this is a uh, microsoft spnet code dot authorize Roles is equal to admin and user. The same things pasted here. Uh, in third, action third, like in, uh, like this, a uh, contact we we provide access for user only. Like a user or we provide uh, this for admin admin only not for user now in next step we go to startup.cs for configuration configuration uh, configuring the authentications and uh, uh, states of their cookies so we go to our this configure services method and here we need to configure services for this it's already added here we need to uh, make sure that here the authentication check consent is it's a true and uh, most important is a minimum state site policy is equal to site same site mode is dot none means we need to set this property Then in next, uh, we also make sure that uh, this app dot use uh, this 
use uh, https redux uh, redirections this for only https means for a secure site uh, by default all, all these coded code uh, is uh, added when we creating a template for asp.net core mbc web project and make sure and this app got uh, use cookie policy this for uh, uh, saving the cookies details on a web applications and next we need to add one more it's app dot use authentication uh, we need to add one more authentication services uh, we need to add a one more services here for authentication it's uh, services dot add authentication scheme so add authentication and then cookie authentication default cookie authentication it's a authentication defaults now we need to add a name space for this not searching a name space for this keyword it's a Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot authentication cookies dot authentication scheme dot add cookies this add cookies Now, now uh, we uh, run our application. Uh, I'm pressing a uh, Control F5 for running this application. Now this uh, building uh, project now build is succeeded. First of all, uh, this uh, uh, this application is not login. So by default, this uh, login to uh, this transfer the view from uh, home index to account login so here i am logging from user it's demo c then click on login if we accessing this home index this accessible this about this also accessible but contact contact is only accessible for admin because here we specify This context only for admin so this uh, by default redirect to access denied view in account section so if we if we again login uh, can login with again login with our uh, admin section then we can access this uh, contact view base can remove these cookies and log into with admin now uh, we log in with admin now we can access this contact page so this is all about uh, role based authentication in asp.net core mbc uh, i will also provide a source code and step to step descriptions and article on this topic so if you have any questions any queries please write in the comment box i will reply you soon if you like my videos click on subscribe button and notification bell for latest updates so thanks we will meet in next video session